trees, skies, water, simple painting, impressionist, very little detail other than suggestions, basic stuff. Uh, palette is uh, lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paints grey and burnt sienna. The butcher's or the display trays, the small display trays, probably about uh, this measure because I know you like to know all the details. It's approximately 12 inches by 9.5 inches or uh, 31 centimetres by 24 centimetres. They're display trays, food display, food display trays. I got, I bought a pack of two from eBay. I had one that, that lasted me for about 30 years, but it, I dropped it so many times it started to, to break. So I've got two. I keep them, thanks to an idea from Maria Kellner, in these, stable, in these uh, Ziploc bags, which are airtight and keeps the paint nice and moist, so that you don't have to scrub away at the hard paint. Uh, you can use paint straight out of the tube if you like on a bigger tray but it will harden unless you keep it covered but um, or you can if you like working with wet paint you can scrape it off and, and start again the next day with uh, some more paint straight out of the tube but this is a compromise this way you get nice moist paint and you don't have to throw it away you can carry on where you left off. So you get the best value out of your paint, best use out of your paint. They're Cotsman 21mm tubes of um, watercolour paint. They're very, very economical. It should cost about £3 a tube. And uh, the paper is Fabriano, £130. It's lighter than the normal one you would use it in, in block form or in book form. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I buy it in 150, 100 she uh, sheets of blocks. <coughs> oh dear. Right, okay. Enough yet. Two inch hake, wet all over with water. This paper is very good for wetting wet. And as it soaks in, the paper gets drier, the surface gets drier, and you can do your more detailed stuff. Although I'm not one for detail. I like an overall impression, believing that is what you leave out is as important as what you put in. Look at the impressionists, look at the line drawings of Picasso and see how, how so much can be said with so little. That to me is great art. So um, I'll do a, a fairly light light sky, but a bit of a bit of raw sienna just to warm the, the, the whole thing up. So water down here, so what you put in the sky, you really need to put in your water at the same time. And that's your the basic reflect water reflection. So I will have a bit of bit of ultramarine for a bit of bit of blue. They're all nice and, and, and soft. My brush is clumping, so I just bring it together. You can see how the clumps of hairs are stitched in and stuck. So you have to work keeping your brush nice and chisel edged. So let's uh, oh, I'm a bit deeper than that. As you come down to the foreground the blue will be lighter. And we'll put a nice Okay, I'm going to put beaches either side. So it's like, like a lake. I've got a lake in mind. And I'm going to put a bit of a cloud in. So mix a bit of, bit of uh, the light red in with the blue. And just nice and just light summery spring. Right. Uh, that'll do. We'll see how we get on with that. So we've got we've got light light clouds, we've got dark, uh, darker clouds, and we've got some blue showing through. So that suggests sky to me. So that is fine. Now, as your paper expands, just reclip it, put it nice and tight. No need to stretch your paper before you use it. 
but working like this the paper stays perfectly flat until it doesn't. There we are. Lovely and, lovely and flat. I'll just take off the excess moisture from the bottom where it's congregating. Right, now we want, a, we want a bit of a background, so a bit of bluey green, so lemon yellow, a bit of blue, a bit of alyssum in there. So we just put in some background trees. Put a bit of burnt sienna in there, a bit, bit of grey, just across here, just for the bank. So I'll try and get it horizontal, and a bit of light red, I think, and a bit of grey, it just makes it put some autumn sort of colours in there, why not? All that's a bit of, bit of interest, a bit of blue, nice lot of colour. Try and keep one side different to the other. We can put in a few pines. There, yeah, got it back together again. Okay. So let's just do some of this. I don't put a lot of pines in paintings, I sometimes forget to do them. I don't want to put too much detail up on the edges because I'm going to put some big trees in. Put the reflections in later. So there, we've got a nice, nice background there. It's going uphill slightly. This is a bit of burnt umber, I think. It was a bit of a beast mixed with a bit of sienna. Right, that's got that fairly straight there. Um, bit of green, bit of blue, different colours. Okay, that, that'll do for that. So, um, I can put the reflections in now. In fact, I, I will. So what is above, put below. So there's a lake. Remember you've got these other colours in there. So just, just put them roughly in where they they are blues coming down here. Try to leave a margin along there between the the bank and, and the actual reflection. The green in there. 
you can only do this because the water is still. If the water is a bit wind swept, then you you would start the reflection further down and leave a margin, a large margin between the bank and the reflection, would show the ruffled water, and then the, the still water would show the reflections further back or further, like further towards the foreground. So there you are, then that's nice and dark in there. Okay, so let's just put in a few flicks. Well, what you put above, put below. So there we have a an impression of that. So um, this is going to be still water. We're, we can start putting in some beaches now, some different colours coming across. You can dry brush this if you wish this by sweep, but I like to, to show water and grass. Pushing the brush here, just giving these grassy effect or trying to. Oh, nice and dark here now. In there. Warm, red, blue, grey. Right, okay, just buff that up with a bit too even there. Add rigor. Right, show a bit of grass coming down, up and down. So this I'm, is try, I'm trying to show some some water in between the grasses or the dark grasses. I haven't put any green in there. Perhaps I should have done that. And we can just show a bit of bit of rocky, bit of pebbly stuff in there. Right, um, now I want to put in some trees. I will. See, Sacred is doing that in a nice clean sky, isn't it? But Nice and dark here in the shadow. One large branch, really, or trunk, shall I say, the rest subordinate to it, otherwise, you'll split the, the attention or you'll deflect the attention from the main branch to other branches. So, one, one with some detail on and Now I'm going to dry my brush. Now just break it up into all these points, and then 
the burnt sienna and raw sienna. It's all autumn-y type of scene. Palette grey, just wherever there's wet on the palette, I'm just using that. Okay, now a few rigorous strokes in there. Take off some some, some light off of this. Didn't quite go right. Let's uh, reinstate some of that. I must get a number three rigger. This this is a number one, I think, and it just doesn't hold the water. I've got a number four, but it's just a bit too too thick. But I'm so mean. Right, that's a. Boots. Okay, so that's that's another quick quick study. Uh, I'll put it in a mouth and we'll have a have a look. So everything is impressionist. It's loosely painted. Um, it's just um, a memory of. Uh, Mitcham, my Mitcham Common, the Seven Islands, just an impression, there's nothing there that is carefully painted. So there, there we are, I think we might be going up the hill there, so let's just pull that down a little bit. Oops. Yeah, that's more or less level. So we've got trunks here reflected below, we've got the reflection here, more or less faithfully reflecting this here. Plenty of air in the dry brush showing space and light and nice clean water across here and this tree coming up from our feet basically. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. It's, it's very simple to do. I think what makes it difficult for you if you're a beginner is that you try to put too much in. You try to be too literal. Like copying a photograph when you've taken and you think oh it's it's there look how complicated it is so rather than leave it all out you put it all in and then it ends up a totally um, a, a total mess because you've tried to do too much try to do too little that's the key I think anyway thanks for watching I'll zoom you in and you can have a look at the, the background of that but the, the, so so little painting very quickly done but it says everything as far as I'm concerned you've got distance and you've got the warmer colors the autumn colors you've got the autumn leaves on the trees and you've got a nice bright sky with a few little clouds in and a foreground of of, of a beachy type of um, sandy shore so I'll give it a title. I don't know if I'll call it Mission Common, I'm not sure. But anyway, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.